Okay, here we are. It's 40 what degrees? 41 degrees. Then things warm up. We're gonna get out there real soon. Hey, good morning. It's an early one. It's about four o'clock in the morning, but here's why. We're going to go and ride some dirt today. So we're going to desert ride today um, on the little bike, which the little bike is a CRF Honda CRF 450X that we built for to run down south. So where we're going to ride today is right in this area right here. And then it's kind of out in the desert all over here, okay? So we have about a 106-mile route that we like to do to condition ourselves for heading south. And I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's go ride it. The bike's prepped and ready to go. The sun's coming up. It's... Almost eight o'clock. We're right on time. Just to give you a heads up, you will hear some one-sided conversations, and that's due to we do wear helmet comms and push to talk. So that's the one-sided conversations you'll hear. Oh man, we got to beat the cows. It's a posse. So we're gonna cut across this valley right here. I'm good, I'm right behind you. Copy that. Yeah, it's a little brisk this morning. I'm gonna pull back from the dust a little bit. As you can see, it is dusty over here. We'll put some distance between us. There's no wind, so we'll probably ride in dust all day. Oh, I forgot to introduce, that's my buddy Keith, uh, riding up in front of me. Still pretty dusty. Dude. soft. We were just over here last week, put in about 80 miles, and figured if we're ready to run down there in Baja, we better put on a few more miles than that. So. That's how we're going to do a big loop today. And we're about ready to hit a road. 
Well, that didn't go as planned. We had to actually stop and do a little trail side repair. Uh, throttle cable got stuck. Luckily, um, we carry all the tools we need, and we were able to get the bike up and running in no time because there's nothing like being out in the middle of nowhere and having bike repairs. It's not like we missed out on an earthquake or anything. Oh man, taking my sleeves off my jacket. Way better. Copy that. Rocks in the outside of the turn. So I should mention that I'm not too concerned about hitting rocks hard. I could still talk over rim, but we run nitro mooses in our tires, which are like a pool noodle on steroids. And so we don't have to worry about flats. No pinch tubes, nothing like that. If you don't run them, and you're still running tubes, I guarantee you they're worth the money. Worth every penny. We'll let the air clear just a little bit. Man, this stuff is soft. Well, we found ourselves having to take a slight detour on this section right here due to hunting season, which put the whole right side of us off limits for uh, motor vehicles. So we decided to just head down and find an alternate route takes a few miles off of what we're trying to do, but no worries, it's all part of the adventure. This is really half the fun. We, this is why we carry a GPS. Uh, the fun part is, when something like this happens, you have to try to figure it out and get around. And with the GPS unit, we're able to see the different trails and be able to just run down this road and find an alternate trail that hooks up to our normal route. So no harm done. We made it just fine. That's normally the way we would go. Yeah, so that area, that road must be the uh, boundary. So it looks like we couldn't go there due to deer season. Uh, so that's a bummer. So like Keith was telling me in my head that we only lost we only lost two miles. So what I'm doing is I'm just adjusting my stabilizer a little bit to just stiffen this front end up just a little bit and I do that gives me just a little more control in this soft stuff Yeah. 
end under the 23 miles we've gone and we're going under the highway yeah 23 miles that last one got my heart rate up and I'm breathing hard Shortcut. Okay. appears I took a wrong turn. So get back. Go ahead and I'll catch up to you. Okay, now we're back on track. Should we take a snack break about halfway? It all looks different going backwards. These tracks look like you and I were the last two on it. I think it's straight through on twenty seven, right? 
We can break. Whip, whip around. No? Uh, so we're taking a break. We're out in the middle of nowhere. 58 miles. 40 more to go. 45, 48. 48, I think. Something like that. So, more to go. that in the dust. Almost over the handlebars. Yeah, I did not see that rock in the dust. That usually doesn't happen. Oh. We're making good time through that. Oh. It's getting hard to hang on. I think I'll end this video. I'm a hair. I'm spent. In this video today, where I ran out of gas, which was way up there, and I ba basically coasted it down to here and had to get go under, push it under a fence, and to make it to the highway. So, and then my buddy that was with me tried to make it to the truck and he ran out within, oh, probably a mile from the truck. So he is going to get the truck, then he'll come to rescue me. You know what the fun part is? It's all part the, about the adventure and stuff happens. It's how you look at it. I'm still, I still got a huge smile on my face and I love what I do. So I think I'll end this video right here because I'm out of breath. And if you like what you see, subscribe down below. And if you don't mind, give me a big thumbs up. Especially today. It was a rough day. It's a long day. See you on the next one.